from the Kakanda deposit in the Katanga. Um, lovely formation of, I wonder, this may very well be Mashamba West actually, but let's go with Kakanda for now. Um, so lying flat, if you have it on a stand, going around like this, this would be the sideways view. These almost grey pink uh, cobalt and calcite crystals jutting off the matrix like little temples, little cubes stacked onto each other. Over here we have some, uh, I think we're looking at malachite in this case, maybe a little bit of colwezite associated as well. In the backdrop, in the background, we have some tiny quartz crystals. Let me see if we can zoom in and see, uh, have a closer look at that. All in all, a pretty, pretty aesthetic piece, uh, 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 an array of colors, and there's a mild dusting of Krasikala on that section. Black material in between would be some heterogenite, little waxy back botroids of heterogenite. But now let me, so we've looked at the top, now I'm going to take various angles. So let's have a closer look into this angle. There's a lot happening on these, as is pretty aesthetic and under magnification, well, uh, uh, an absolute joy uh, to behold when, you, when you're looking under magnification and at these all these little sections. Yeah, maybe a little quartz crystal as well, glinting out of that hollow, out of that cavity. All the way from, well, I think we are looking at Kakanda here. Um, could be Mashamba West too. Actually, when I look at the matrix, it looks more like Mashamba West to me. From the Katanga, Copper Crescent in the Conga, nonetheless.